Hey guys, let's talk about balance, balancing a chord. And what does that mean, the balance of sound? In the most simplest terms, you could think about, let's say, balance between the two hands. That means that some things are louder than others. So maybe the right hand is louder than the left hand. That's maybe the most simple way we could look at balance. But let's take the last three chords of the fourth prelude by Chopin, Opus 28, number four. You have these three chords at the end. And they're, these are, are really nice, yeah? This, we, we, can, we can work with balance in here. So balance means that not all notes are are equal sound and not all notes also are just random sounds but there's actually some thought put into how we want this chord to sound because there's dozens of ways of make of making this sound right of different ways of playing this for example we could have or we could have or we could have right so I'm just kind of sniping different notes here to, to come out more to show the, the difference, right? When I play this chord, what strikes me really important is the F right here, the F sharp, right? So this is like a, um, this is a B sus4. There's a few ways of looking at this chord. Right? So I want the chord come out a little bit more so somehow I need to lean on this second finger or feel like it's a little heavier so that I don't end up with something that sounds like this See, we're missing that F sharp it's barely there yeah it's hardly there so so here's an exercise you can do in succession, we have six notes here. Let's stick out one after the next, starting with the highest note. Now the B right here. Now the F sharp. Now the E here. The E is very nice too. This B2 and B1. So you hear the difference we have. are being played but you're sniping one as a practice this is just a practice because when you voice a chord it's not going to be well this note is more important so kind of a little bit but it's not just one note that has to stick out in a chord it's just an overall blend how do you want it's like it's like putting spices or herbs in a tomato sauce it's not that, okay, we want lots of oregano and nothing else. No, it's kind of like, you know, we want a little bit more basil and a tiny bit of thyme and maybe a little marjoram in there. So it's kind of, that's more the idea. So when you play a chord like this, this is a beautiful example, listen carefully and, you know, analyze how it sounds and how you would like it to sound. Maybe it's too much on the top. You want more of the F sharp. That's really nice. Maybe here, you want that F sharp fifth in the bass. Or maybe you want not so much this D sharp up here, but this one here. Maybe more of this B than that B. It could be very personal of a European te technique, but when you want to bring out the voices that are more close to the thumbs, you play a little bit like this, right? Like you're going inside the, the hands towards each other. That works as well. And then finally that last chord. Maybe too much of this and not enough of this. this is too much on the top and not enough bass. So you find the right balance, right? Or maybe
maybe now we don't have enough of these two. So that's called balancing a 